Good afternoon, everybody. Olaf here, and welcome back to round two of Sierra Saturday and Let's Play Leisure Suit Larry Five. Now, we have the boarding pass going to Atlantic City. Um, we're just waiting for him to call us, basically. So, yeah, we should be, uh, we should be going back to Patty. Now boarding. Yay. Okay, I didn't hear. Oh, right. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's better. All right, so yes. Um, off we go into the wild blue yonder again. And there's really nothing for us to do. We picked up our one magazine. Uh, basically, just fall asleep, Blair. Just nod off, buddy. Go to sleep. Sleep. Sleep, god damn you! Damn, yeah, that worked, all right. Cool. What are you dreaming this time, Larry? Oh, in your dream, you're watching Passionate Patty perform a rock concert before the reflecting pool of the Taj Mahal. What a great musician. What a romantic setting. What a gorgeous bay. Right, so now we are at K-Rap. Yes, I will save, thank you. Uh, all right, so let's go in here. Holy schmack. Although you can't see it, the K-Rap building is quite impressive when viewed from the opposite side. Yeah, I thought it was just like this. No, it's like, goes down the cliff, damn. From the tiny top floor you entered, it stretches hundreds of feet down the hillside in a series of cascading terraces and gardens and patios and oh my! Obviously, there's more to this place than meets the eye! Okay. Uh... What's this? That is a keypad. Can I get an operator? You hear no sound from the door. Must not have been the correct number. Right, so... Aha! Access code 45954. 954. Right. What does that say? Uh, often in control room B, access code not available for the... Okay. So, Patty, I need to get to that, thank you. So, 45954. Five, you hear the door click. The receptionist is returning. Hurry! Whew! You made it. Right. You never know when you might get some mail, so you decide to take the crapper's letter opener from his desk. Uh, you briefly consider booting up John Crapper's computer for an attempt at, uh, attempting to con... No. Well, yes, you should. Trying the drawers from Crapper's desk, you find them security locked. Well, don't you have a... I was gonna say, use the letter opener, jimmy it open. Yeah, prying away with the desk's ineffective lock, the Crapper's letter opener, you find a weak spot and carefully pry it open. And what's in it?
Burying through, uh, why is world what he want to remember? 48401. 48401. Anything else? Yes? Aha! Personal folder. Uh, examining papers inside, you find one with some, uh, Julius. These papers provide proof positive that Mob Paola at K Rap Radio. Cool. So now we come over to the photocopier and copy them. That is not the sound of any copier I have ever heard. Hey, what's the matter with this thing? Why did it stop? Why did it? What did I do to jam it? Oh well, at least I've got the most important cop evidence copied before it jammed. What does this switch here do? Pulling on something that doesn't belong to you. An experience not wholly unfamiliar. Great! Now just look at me. I'm covered in toner from head to toe. And that's gonna be important, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, right, we need to replace the folder. Now, see, this is a really, really horrible thing. This is a really horrible thing. Okay, fine, I'll return the damn letter opener. Jeez, anything else? I look at the look at the freaking copier. You don't think he's gonna notice that the copier has been exploded? Okay, maybe I can wash myself clean. As you turn what appears to be gold-plated gold -plated faucet, you feel the shower begin to move. Great! Where will you end up on this naked adventure and without your inventory too? Your elevator descends through the K-Rap atrium past floor after floor of offices. At least there are no workers here to see you. This is just like that, a reoccurring nightmare of yours. It's just a naked woman in a shower slash elevator. Get over it. Oh, really embarrassed? Come on. Well, at least we have some clothes. Cautiously leaning out of the, uh, examine the coat rack, clothes rack, yes, get some clothes. And now if you notice, Patty looks like she's black. I mean, I guess it's, it's not too horrible. What? Barry Manilow, <laughs> king of rock and roll. No, sorry, that is not Barry. King of rock and roll is not Barry Manilow. Uh, okay, so four, eight, four, zero, one. Okay. Four, eight, four, zero, one. You hear the door click. Okay, that was the right one. Cool. Wait, what? Uh, the recorder's automatic shutoff prevents it from operating without a properly mounted tape. Okay, so I need to get a tape. Where do I get a tape? Uh, 
Okay, control room C, but that's not what I need. You have nothing, Patty. I have no idea what I'm doing. Control room B, that's yours, duh. Okay, maybe I should save real quick. Let's change it again. No, we don't want his, we want... Now you can overhear the conversation, right. Can I record it, please? Well, where do I get the, the... I don't know where to get a... Where do I get a tape from then? Is that okay so I need a tape apparently but where do I get a tape from okay obviously I have yes I know Four, eight, four, zero, one. Okay, obviously there's something. Aha! Tape? Blank reel of tape. Okay. You replace the tape on the recorder, carefully threading around the tension in the arms. Okay, so now I'm recording the, the... As you record too live to screw, you giggle at the delight as they thoroughly incriminate themselves. Hey, what's that? What's PC Hammer doing? Looks like he's seen your recording sign and he doesn't look too happy about it. Fantastic. Oh no, where did Hammer go? Don't hurt me, Hammer! Oh no, PC Hammer is, has noticed a recording sign over your window and realized you are not an engineer and is heading for your room. And he's blocking us in. Blocking the only way out of the control room with the heavy microphone stand, he heads to the elevator. You're in trouble now, Patty! Wait, what's that? Uh, okay, so now you know the secret access code to get upstairs. Right. Now if only you could find a way from this. Well, let's stop our recording. Take the tape. Or rewind the tape, sorry. Yeah, 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 I know. Be kind, rewind. Tape is fully rewound. Pick it up. All right. Switch it to B. Control room C has nothing. We want control room B.
That's right. Now crank up, oh, excuse me, crank up the volume. You hear nothing yet. The speakers are amazingly loud, loud enough to break glass. Carefully aim the microphone so it's pointing just below your mouth. Uh, you hear your voice echo through or amazingly loud. Yes, scream into it. Crank it up even louder. Ah, oh, this is so... Yeah, there we go. Okay, targeting your biggest possible diaphragmic breath. High C and shatters the window. That's it, Patty. Or is it Memorex? Ah, most of you have no idea what that means. Well, some of you don't. Some of you do. Some of you do. Some of you aren't too young. Punching in the access code you learned watching PC Hammer, you are able to ride the shower vader back to John Crapper's bathroom. Luckily, no one has noticed your clothes lying on the floor there. Putting on your dress and gathering your possessions, you sneak back to the receptionist's lobby door and wait for her to take a break before making it safely back to your patiently waiting limo. Home, Bobby. All right. Time to dream about another rich white guy, I bet. Ooh, ooh, I just love it when you do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is she literally getting a golden shower here? Sir Francis, I just hope my three nephews don't come back. <laughs> Right now, it would be awkward. So wait, so we're basically doing like Scrooge McDuck's giving us golden shower. <laughs> Words that I should never have had to say. During your absence, your dream of passionate Patty's Taj Mahal concert has progressed. Late, uh, late at night, the gig gets over. Amps and drums are packed up for the road cases. Now it's time for the two of you to relax by playing a little section on our oboe. You soon realize the snake isn't the only thing that has charmed Patty. Whoa! You just upset your tray with a boner. That is literally the power of boner. Anyway, that is all the time we have for today. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, and stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. If you want to see crazy and all so lazy, then you should meet me and my friends. This is disgusting. No running, this is absolutely disgusting. How they came up with this idea, I, idea, I have no idea. But yeah. Basically, the next morning, Arthur wakes up to the tick in bed with him. The tick refuses to believe that there isn't a secret lair hidden in Arthur's apartment. 